A Douglas County teacher has a new prosthetic arm, and it's all thanks to her elementary school students. Channel 2's Linda Stouffer explains how they created it for her with new technology and big dreams. Ready? Playing catch is kind of a class project for teacher Heather Casey. I have my prosthetic arm, and I can actually open and close. Last year, my students helped create it. On this 3D printer in Matthew Nauman STEM class at Bill Arp Elementary School in Douglas County, students work out ideas and measurements on iPads, then print with plastic filament. It's not a hypothetical problem. It's you know a need that we have right here. So I think that's really important to the kids. This is the first version of Miss Casey's arm, but they determined it's a little bit heavy. It weighs about four pounds. So students had to go back to the design phase. We had to make a second one to make it. Um, less heavy. And now? And now it's perfect. They can actually have an idea or have a problem, design something, and have a real solution that they can hold in their hands. And a solution they can hold in this hand, too. Students engineered a second prosthetic for teacher Tara Moon. She posted video on Facebook the first time she used it to pick up a cup. My mom and like all her friends cried because I've never been able to, you know, do anything with it. So it's awesome. What about you? It's really exciting. Eight-year-old Sam wants to be an engineer to figure out more ways to help people like Miss Casey. Because she's my teacher and I like her and she's a really nice to us, so we want something for her. They were able to make a dream a reality. Like I've never had a, a useful arm, but my kids were able to see that dream come to life. And in Douglas County, Linda Stouffer, Channel 2 Action News.